Hey everybody, welcome back to a Better Computer. My name is Matt, and in today's video, I'm gonna do an old school tutorial. I'm just gonna show you how to migrate your Mastodon account from one server over to another. And the reasons you may wanna do this are outside the scope of this video. We're not gonna talk about that today. I just wanted to make a tight video for people who have decided to move from one server to another and just wanted to see someone do it to just get a little bit more confidence in doing it themselves. I find this is helpful when I wanna do something that's not super complicated, but it is a little nerve wracking and you wanna make sure you do things right. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna to do it on my real account. And there are a lot of other resources out there that I've pulled from to kind of get an understanding for how this works. I'll put all those in the description so you can check those out as well. Um, yeah, it's a great little community. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so we are on the computer now and the number one thing uh, you wanna do is make sure you have your data before you do anything else. So in Mastodon, you can go to your preferences, you can go to import and export, and you can download CSVs of this sort of information up here. And if you want an archive of your posts, including the media um, and like pictures and videos that you uploaded as well, there will be a button down here to request an archive. I've already done that. It took about six minutes for it to generate, and then you can just download your archive here, which will give you a local copy of your posts because again, your posts will not move over to your new account. The permalinks to them will all stick on the old account so people can still see them. If you linked to it previously, like in a blog post or something else, those will still be there. People will still be able to get to them. They just won't be linked to your new account. Um, so that's just a thing to know. Um, the one thing I would make sure you do get here is your follows. So these are who you are following. I follow 180 accounts and I can download a CSV of those. I'll use that. I've actually already done it over here. Um, but uh, you want to make sure you have those so that when you're in your new account, you can import who you were following so that your feed is exactly the same as before. Um, and again, when you do the migration, people who follow you will automatically come over. You don't have to have them do anything, which is nice. So um, that was my old one, and this is my new one. So this is my new Mastodon instance. I've got my account set up, and you want to make sure that you've created your second account first. So before you do anything on your old account, you can download... Um, your data or whatever, but like, don't close it. Don't do anything there. You want to just make sure you have your second account up and running. You can log in, everything's set up. And so that's what I've got here. So once you have both accounts set up and functional, then we're ready to start the migration. Okay, so now that we have both accounts set up, we have the new account. This is where I want everything to go. In the new account, you want to go to preferences, and then you need to go to account and you can see this is already set up. Um, I've got, this is where you change your password. This is where you see where you are logged in. But what I also want to do is go down here. There's options to move to a different account, moving from a different account and delete your account. So this is my new account. Again, we're starting with the new account that you want to move to. Uh, so I'm moving from a different account. So we're going to go ahead and create an alias. So we need to specify the um, old account. So the easiest way for me to do that is to go back here, click on my profile, and then copy the entire username and domain. So at username at your domain. You want all that. So I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to create an alias. There we go. Um, so that's been done. You can now initiate the move from the old account. So again, this is the new account. I created an alias that has my old a username here. So let's go back to my old one. This is the one I'm moving away from. Um, I go into preferences as well. I go into account as well. And then I go to the bottom again. And so this one is the one that I'm moving from. So move to a different account. So configure that here. So it's going to give you these warnings um, and everything. Um, Basically, this action will move all followers from the current account to your new account. Your current account's profile will be updated with a, a redirect notice. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so basically, it's saying this is effectively going to close your account. So what's the thing for your old account? So let's go to my profile. Let's copy the full username and domain. So that's the new one. And I need to enter my password. I'm authenticating with my password to make sure that uh, it is actually me. Here's the new account at Matt at is feeling social. So Matt is feeling social. Very happy with this. Um, so move followers. So let's do it. Let's hit the button. Your account is now redirecting to Matt at is feeling that social and your follow followers are being moved over. So 
this kicks off a background process that, um, oh boy. So let's see what happens. Yeah. So, okay. So this is the interesting thing is a background process is happening right now. That is basically taking my full list of followers and having them follow my new account. And so that's just flooding in the notifications here. So it's already running, it's doing its thing. Um, and so, yeah, it's just going to go in real time and I should probably <laughs> turn off the audio here. Otherwise that's going to really uh, get annoying, but yeah, it's importing all of them. I can see it's happening in real time. So the job kicked off right away. Um, I've got about 1700 followers. So this is actually going to, um, it might take a few minutes here. Many hours later. Okay. Hello. It's me from hours later. Um, basically this is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I think I mentioned earlier, I have about 1700 followers on Mastodon about 1300 have moved over. So still 400 are going to come along. Um, and that's fine. It basically every like 30 minutes or so, I'm getting a new like wave of notifications of like new followers, which is the backend service that's just adding them, um, to this account. So those will eventually get here, but I think I'm in a safe place to import my following list, right? I'm currently following eight accounts. That was just to like, make sure things were working here, um, to import your followers, uh, in the last account, uh, you have to do this before you do the, uh, forwarding because I can't log in and access my account anymore. Um, I have this CSV where I have everyone I'm following. Um, and I basically just go to preferences in my new account. Uh, I need to go to import and export and go to import. And here we go. So I want to import what my following list, blocking list, muting list, uh, my following list. Uh, I should just be able to drag that on to choose file. There we go. Merge overwrite. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and merge and upload. And so this hopefully, yeah, so it's been successfully uploaded and will be processed in due time. Um, so that's a little vague. Um, but if I go back to my profile, I'm following nine already. So yeah, so here we go. So it looks like it's going to start adding them and it might, I might just be able to watch it. Uh, but I follow about like 180 accounts. So these will start being added right now. And so yeah, I guess the big takeaway here is that it's not an instant transfer. It's not an instant process, but if you do the steps in order and have a little bit of patience, um, it's perfectly okay. Um, especially if you don't have a massive account, like if you have like 10,000 followers on Mastodon, this is going to take even longer. Um, but for me, it took the better part of a day to move over most of these accounts. And I would expect within an hour or two, um, I'll pretty much be there. And then, yeah, I'm just importing, um, my other follow list. So in theory, by the end of the day, I should have a home feed that's familiar to me that has all the things I want, um, or I'm used to. And yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, if there's any major changes um, before I post this video, I'll let you know. But I believe that's pretty much it. And I'm good to go on the new server. So um, I'll leave a link to my Mastodon profile in the description if you were at all curious about following me. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.